Well, as human beings, uh, we are super concerned about this virus. But we ourselves have been like a virus on this planet. The recent WWF, uh, uh, you know, report about the Global Living Planet report that's happened doesn't speak well at all about us. From 1970 to 2016, the average decline of 68% of mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles and fish has happened, 68%. In about 50 years' time, nearly 70% of significant life on this planet is gone for no other reason than the human virus. Most alarming drop has happened in Latin America and the Caribbean islands. Ninety-four percent of vertebrate wildlife populations are wiped out, ninety-four percent. Yes, you're hearing the number right. One million wildlife species are threatened with extinction. What is our plan for this planet? We are very concerned about virus killing us, about virus affecting us. I know this may sound brutal at a time like this, but we need to understand that our behavior on this planet has been more virulent than the virus. Of course, immediately everyone will jump to this question, what can I do, what can I do? What we can do is the next thing, but first thing is to make the planet conscious that this is where we stand. It's very simple in the sense, it is not something that you correct overnight. Do we have a clear-cut plan for next twenty-five years, fifty years, hundred years? This is the first question. Whatever the goals that were set for to be achieved by 2020, from 2010 to 2020, none of those goals have been met. Well, governments have to get together, but governments, at least today, in large part of the world, are just people, not descendants from heaven people who got elected. Why are elected people not doing what is needed for the people? Well, simply because people themselves have not asked what they really want. We as people on this planet have not made it very, very clear that this is what we want. We are busy in our competitions, we are busy in desperately trying to be better than somebody else. In this game of one-upmanship, the planet is taking a huge toll. Plant extinctions are two times as high as mammals, birds and amphibians combined. The number of plants which are just vanishing from the planet, we need to understand the richness of life on this planet, the complexity of life that we are, is a consequence of the complexity of species that have happened, the biodiversity. Without that, this life cannot happen in its present form. Or in other words, we are pulling out the foundation stones of our existence. Yes, virus is a concern, but we behaving like virus, we conducting ourselves like brainless virus with 
excessive compulsive activity is a bigger concern than some virus killing us. Well, if we don't fix this in the next couple of decades, if significant action doesn't happen, well, climate change does not mean there'll be just floods and cyclones. When the biodiversity is lost, the very basis, the foundation stones of our existence are being undone. Are we making a statement that the only way to fix is that a whole lot of us must die? Mass extinction of human beings need to happen or mass murder? This is mass murder, I'm telling you. This is not about accusing anybody, all of us are a part of it. So when all of us are a part of it, the problem is let all of us act and that's not going to happen. You must act, every one of us must act in our life. What is it? Simple acts of saving water, doing this, not throwing plastic, yes, these are all wonderful things. But that's not going to do this. One most important thing, this may look like uh, I'm a broken record, that I'm going on repeating the same thing again and again and again. I'm saying this once again. One of the simplest ways right now, in the given conditions, at present level of human populations, one of the simplest thing that we can do is put back 35 to 40 percent of the land under tree cover. Without this, we are not going to create an atmosphere for biodiversity to exist and flourish. Well, this may not bring back the vertebrates, at least it will keep the microorganisms going, which is most vital for our existence. The way things are shaping up for the planet, it's not about the planet, planet will exist. Planet is not in peril, it is human beings. Either we come out of this consciously or a disaster will bring us back into senses is left to us. The immensity of suffering we have caused to every creature on this planet. is too much. Right now, just by correcting a little bit of lifestyle is not going to fix that. One significant aspect is definitely that we need tree cover for sure. Another is we have to plan that in the next twenty-five to fifty years, human populations are reduced because reducing human consumption, yes, we must work towards that, but reducing human aspirations is far more difficult than reducing human population. What should we do? Well, you don't have to plan a genocide, that's not the way to do life. We simply have to postpone birth. Of course, there are people who say, where will be the workforce if you postpone birth? The power of population, I think you lost your mind. You don't seem to see the picture that is staring in front of you. You have become a marketplace in your head. Because of that, you are thinking, where are the consumers to sell my products? Where are the workers to make my products? This is not the way to look at life. I'm saying in fifty years, nearly seventy percent of significant life on this planet, vertebrates means in the evolutionary scale of things, it took millions of years to get them there. Seventy percent of that life we are wiped out. If you don't wake up now, well, the planet may decide to 
put a lot of us to sleep. 